Hi everyone, it's Becky. Um, I just have a design team project to show you guys and I've jumped on the um, the treat bag bandwagon with everybody else and I think like um, two or three other people on my design team have made these. I know Muriel has, Marla H has, and I believe Christina has. So um, I don't know if they've uh, Christina did hers for a design team project. I've seen it. I still got to watch it, but, um, and then I've also watched, um, of course the tutorial by so crafty 100. Um, and I'll post the link to her channel below for the tutorial. And, um, I originally seen this off Muriel's channel. And then, um, I think her name is twins for me too, here on YouTube. Um, kind of did um, like a, she just told how to put the paper on because I was wondering, I wanted to cover it all in paper. So I was just wondering how you would still do that without, um, or, you know, if you fold it first and stuff like that. So she just kind of told you how to do that. So, um, this is my little treat bag and I made it for a friend and, um, I'm going to put her name right there. So, you know, pretty much it's just the recollection bag. And then the paper that I used was um, Prima Delight. And um, this is the, the for, or, yeah, the front piece of paper that I used. And then this, is, of course, is the back. And then back here, what I did is I stamped it. I was watching Miss Liberty 25. She did a tutorial on her policy envelope. And she stamped with her um, Prima chalk edges, so that's what I tried to do that. But um, I don't know if mine turned out so great. I think it kind of adds a little bit of extra to the paper because I didn't want to embellish it too much in the back. And then I think Twins for me to um, also, I think she's the one that put the butterfly on the back, and I thought that was really cute. So I put a butterfly on mine. Um, and this butterfly is from Craft Supplies 1. And then this white trim, bead trim, pearl trim, <laughs> sorry, is from Craft Supplies 1, 2. And then, like, all this stuff that you see, like the shimmer, I, I went over it with, um, I sprayed it with Snowstorm, the shimmer spray. And then um, here, I used the shimmers, Dazzlers, the um, sponge sugar. And then I went over it just a little bit with gesso. So it kind of gives it a little bit of shimmer. And then these two laces are from Craft Supplies 1. And I don't have them right here, but you can pretty much see. This is like a really light crocheted um, trim. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus. There we go. And then this one is a white lace, and it's got the ribbon through it. And I distressed all the edges, and I used pastel brown um, on the edges, the chalk edgers. And then the colors that I used on this stamp, this is the Prima stamp, and it's the circle ones. Um, let's see if I have it here. Oops, sorry. It's this one. That's the stamp that I used. And then I used the Tail Damask and the... Um, moss green and blossom tree. I don't know if you can really see the pink too well, but it's there. And um, then here on the inside is just another piece of paper and I punched it, edge punched it. And that's all I did there. And I've still got something in there. I took my treats out when, um, when I was gonna video it, but I had some stuff in there just to see what I could put in there. Um, and then there's the same laces right there, and I just use those on the front. And then over here on the side, um, this is some eyelet trim, and I believe I got this from my very first swap with Marla Rizzo, and so I'm pretty sure that it's from Craft Supplies 1, um, but if it's not, um, Julie does carry like all different kinds of eyelet trim. So I'd head on over there. You can make these really cute flowers um, with with that eyelet trim. And then what I did is I just put a crocheted button in the middle from Recollections. And then I just kind of like took my chalk edges and kind of just 
went like that with my chalk edger and it's the blossom tree and it just kind of left spots of the pink on there and I think I went over it just a little bit with pastel blue but it's not really picking it up it's just very faint and then right here these are the pearl sprays that new ones that she has that are already shaped like this and you can just cut you know a piece of it off and stick it in there and it also has these three um, the third one you can't see it's tucked in there but it has three little straight sprigs with just pearls that are bunched together it's really cute and then this is a white like rolled paper rose and then this is the new white ones that um, Julie has in her store and they've kind of got like a bark um, looking middle let's see there's one right there and then this is the um, fabric flower but it's like really it's been hardened um, and these are like a pinky peach and then that's a white calla lily the small ones and a blue two-tone half inch flower and then this is just a rolled rose from my stash and a paper flower and then and I just stuck a little tiny pearl center in it and then these are um, I don't know um, probably went here in a couple of days I did a I'll post a video but I did a lace roll um, and I use these flowers on on that and they're like a pinky more of a peach and they're like half peach and then half cream so they're really pretty so I stuck that in there and then there is um, some more of this pearl spray right here and then one of those white flowers and this flower is from my stash and this there's another um, fabric flower and then uh, ivory or a cream colored one and these are like the three quarter inch ones and then another rolled rose from my stash and then this is some lace scraps from my scrap bin that I've just cut off and it's just a flower so I just stuck that under there because I thought it kind of added more to it and then here I don't know if you guys can see but I put a paper doily down and I went over it a little bit with vintage photo but it comes from like all the way up here all the way <laughs> sorry all the way around and there's actually on this piece of paper, on this paper, there's actually a doily on the paper. So I was just trying to like, I guess, bring it out a little bit. And then over here, see like right there, there's another one that's in the paper. So, and then this postcard I cut out of the paper and I distressed it and hung it with a Tim Holtz paper clip. So that's my little treat bag. Oh, and then also out here, you can see I went over it with the Dazzlers, the spun sugar, all my flowers, just to kind of put a little bit of texture on the top. And then there's more of that stamp. So that's my little treat bag, my take on it. Um, they are really fun to make and addicting. So um, just leave a comment, um, questions below, and um, I will get back to you. So um, stay tuned. I've got some more videos coming. I'm sorry I've been... Um, kind of absent. I've been working on a lot of stuff, but I haven't been able to post it because it is a surprise. So hopefully when she gets it, I will um, post the videos and um, also head on over and check out Julie's shop. She's listed um, a whole bunch of new stuff. So head on over there and check it out. Hope you guys have a great day.